and you live your life for Him, and He lives His life through you. Amen? Amen. So, brothers and sisters, if there's one thing that I want you to remember today, is the good news of the gospel. Is the gospel good news? Amen. It's what the world needs to hear. And it is what we as Christians need to show them in our lives. Our closing hymn is hymn number 522. Oh, listen. Uh, I talked with Janet, uh, and she has books in the library that will uh, give you more insight of what was spoken on today. So they're available, and uh, all you need to do is go back there and check them out. Actually, they're just on the other side of this wall about where I'm putting my finger. And it's, it's uh, I have them labeled uh, more about sermons. And I'd like uh, each week, whoever gives the sermon uh, or gives me uh, the subject of the sermon that they're presenting, and I would like to pull DVDs and books that might be of more of further use to you guys and uh, you know add on to the sermon and they'll be in the same place. So come on in and use your library. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Yeah. Yes. Number 522. <clears throat>
Come on up, come on up. I want you to, you guys to stand right there. What I would like is for the rest of the church, you guys, come on up. Come on, everyone come up. Ricky, I get you to stand over here. Uh, Bob, I get you to stand right beside them. The rest of you guys, come on up. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. You gotta pack in, because what I wanna do, is we're gonna have special prayer over them. Uh, and I'm gonna pray, I'm gonna break it and pray, Bob, you uh, pray? Okay. But I want everybody to come in, and I want you guys all touching each other, and then I want all of you that are close to touch them. Uh, Ricky, I'm going to ask you to pray first, Bob, I'm going to ask you to pray next, and then I'll close. All right? We ready? Yes. Father, I want to thank you for these two people, and I thank you for their family. I thank you for their friendship. I just thank you for their profession and faith. And I just thank you that, that they have given their lives to you. And I pray that you would be with them, that you would strengthen them, that they would seek peace in you, that they would uh, just uh, worship you and praise you. Father, as we have gathered here as a church family, Father, the reason why we are locked arm in arm and we're touching each other is because truly in Christ we are one. And Father, we come here today with thanksgiving in our heart for Cliff, for Wendy, for their children, for the profession of faith that they made, the baptism to show the world that they are your children. And Father, we pray for their peace, for their protection, for their growth in Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that you will use them in a mighty way, that you will use their children, that the message that they have been learning here, the gospel message of Jesus Christ, that they will share with their friends and co-workers and all that they need. Father, only you know what's coming in the days ahead. In the days ahead. But we pray that they will have the faith and the strength to continue to look to you. Father, help each of us not to look at each other, but help us to keep our eyes focused on Jesus Christ. For we will let each other down, but you never let us down. But Father, help us to realize who and what we are as a family in Christ, that we're here for each other, and that together, whatever this world and whatever the devil throws at us, we can more than withstand because we are more than conquerors in Christ. For this we ask and pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Before you guys go back to your seats, we've got something special that I'm going to hand to Ricky, and I'd like you to hand it to them. This is a special gift from us, your church family, to you guys. And what I would like is for the two of you to go to the back and stand there, and we're going to give you the right hand of fellowship as we exit. Thank you, guys. It's a fruitcake. <laughs> 